just got our inspection for the foundation, so we're approved to pour on Friday. Uh, the rest of the video is going to show some of the different aspects of the foundation that I recorded yesterday. The inspector took a look at our specialty inspection report from the deputy inspector on our epoxy dowels. He also took a look at our UFRA grounding and then he looked at some of the cage, asked about how we intend to pour it. So we're good to go, ready for Friday. Go ahead and post any questions you might have in the comments below. And before we get into the actual foundation, I'll give you 10 seconds of koa. Okay, so here's our 12 by 12 footing. You can see we've got our hold down anchors right here. And these are our regular anchor, anchor bolts. We're using 5 8 inch galvanized anchor bolts because the code calls for either galvanized or stainless steel if they're in contact with pressure treated lumber, which all of our, our plate material is going to be pressure treated. It has to be because it's tough in concrete. So you can see we got four half inch pieces of rebar running horizontally. You got one here, two. This guy's their third one on top. And this is your fourth one. You got two on the bottom, two on top. We're using a three inch adobe to keep them out of the ground. And then these stakes here, the tie wire are actually holding them. The elevation is on them. Got more hold downs. We're doing two two by fours, double two by fours against the hold downs. So you can see all that. The, the mat here on top is 18 by 18, number three, or three eighths inch rebar. And here we have our electrical stub up and UFRA ground, which is this guy here. Basically, it's a piece of braided number four that is tied here into the mat. And then it actually runs down there and it connects to the bottom horizontal number four, which has to be 20 feet long. Okay. And so they do allow you to tie it into the mat like this if you have the coverage of concrete. But it needs to be tied to a, a piece of number four that's 20 feet long. So rather than do that, just ran it over into the footing because all of the steel appears three eighths. So along the, the shared wall, the party wall, we've got our anchor bolts and hold downs. There's the one in the corner. This is actually the kitchen. So you can get a little visualization here. So that's the sink vent right there if you turn here going down the hallway you'll run in into the the bathroom so we have a door right here going into the bathroom you got your toilet here's your toilet vent over to the left you have your tub so the tub's gonna run right along there and then there'll be 30 inches between the toilet and the wall here that separates the bedroom. So we got toilet, toilet vent, shower vent. Here's your sanitary or your sink. And then just to the left of that is washer dryer hookup. And there's the vent and drain right there. So that's basically the layout. Now, if you look back here, elevation change between the garage and the rest of the apartment, the ADU, is five and a half inches. So top of slab is going to come here to the top of this two by six. And then the garage slab starts here underneath. 
runs out to that elevation there, the garage door. And then there's a slight incline that will meet up with the existing driveway and actually work out pretty good. So it won't be a noticeable change in grade from that slope of the driveway coming up here. I'll just connect it right there. And then over on the, the sides, we do have a stem wall, five and a half inch stem wall. Let's see, we got a piece of number four horizontal running in there. Pretty simple. So concrete elevation, like I said, will be at the bottom for the floor. And then the stem wall height is here. And then the, the plate, bottom plate, pressure treated, will go on top of that. And then we'll start building up. So the walls will be the same height for the ADU and the garage. And then I was going to show you one other little thing here. So tiny. So this is the front wall to the garage. We got two hold downs in it. So everything with a green dot is the hold down. And it's pretty tight because we got double two by fours over here on the end. And double two by fours here. Then you got your hold downs. We do have a little plate anchor bolt right there, which I put in just because it fit. If it didn't fit, I might not have put it. So then we come over here, stem wall will end. This door here to the garage is actually going to move out into the new wall that will be built across there. And so that's why the stem wall ends, because it's got to be at the elevation of that door, which then goes into the house. So overall, things are looking pretty good. Pretty excited with the inspection, with the foundation. We'll be ready to pour on Friday. We've got concrete and the pump set up. Also, a team of finishers will be arriving probably around 6.30 in the morning. So we'll get some footage of the pour. And then sometime next week, I'm going to put together another video with all of the time and materials. So the expenditure for this phase of the project. And then if you see the previous video, you get a chance to see uh, some other expenses that we've, we've spent to date on the underground and demolition. So see you on the next video.